But that world 1400 years ago was full of oppression against women. And here a prophet comes. If you bring him 1400 years ago, and you bring him forward to today, if you look at some of the decisions that he made, they were revolutionary. In a period of time where they were selling women, what does he do? He empowers women. If Islam is here today, and this isn't just rhetoric, it's because of three women. Islam has survived today, if I'm here, it's because of three women. And all three of these women are from the family of the Prophet. The first one was his wife. The reason why Islam survived was the financial support of his wife. And that tells you today, in the 21st century, women are not allowed to work. Go back to the teachings of the Prophet and see. His wife was one of the greatest business individuals. I wouldn't say business women, she was probably the only woman on the market. But she was the greatest. In our terms, she was a billionaire. She was a successful woman at the age of 35. And that's something that the Prophet knew, and that's the person he married. 25 years he stayed with one woman in an Arab society which saw a deficiency for a man not to marry two times. 25 years until he was 51 after his wife passed away, then he married again. One woman, second woman, his daughter. His daughter starts the very first social system that this world has ever seen. Yes, arguably we could say in the time of the Greeks, but that was a system based upon charity. The modern day social system was started by a woman, and that woman was in Medina, and that woman was the daughter of the Prophet. If you go into history, you'll see this. She bought many gardens, and from these gardens she was able to empower women. Widowers, for example, women who couldn't get married again. Divorcees, children, people who were impoverished. She would bring them into the system, and she would accumulate for them a social network whereby they would be able to generate funds, and they would be able to support themselves. Third lady, go into history and now see. The savior of Islam today. If the name Islam exists today, it's because of one woman. And that woman is the granddaughter of the Prophet Muhammad. When his grandson was slaughtered on the plains of Karbala, standing up against a tyrant, history is there, Muslims killed the grandson of their Prophet, slaughtered him on the plains of Karbala as he stood there for justice. His sister stood up, and his sister made sure that the whole world knew who Hussein was. Today, if you find 1.5 billion Muslims, it's because of her. You just heard 20 million people gathered in Iraq for a pilgrimage to where? Karbala. What is Karbala? The shrine of this grandson.